everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to free up some space on your Mac. And this works on every Mac from your laptop all the way to an iMac or Mac Pro. And I'm gonna show you a few different things to try, but before you do anything, I recommend running a time machine backup because we are going to permanently delete things on your Mac. The time machine backup basically mirrors everything you have on an external hard drive and then if you lose anything, you could just go ahead and run that Time Machine backup. Now, I have an entirely different video on how to use Time Machine to back up your Mac. This is not the video for that, but I recommend you watch that and you do that first. Let me show you a couple of things. Now, these are external hard drives and I'll put a couple of them in the description box below this video if you wanna check them out. But basically what these do with Time Machine is your entire computer gets backed up to one of these. So if anything goes wrong or you delete something you shouldn't have, you'll always have it on this external hard drive and you can back it up from there. These are the two that I recommend and I've used them for about 10 years or so doing backups on my Mac. Now, after you've done a time machine backup, let's jump here on the Mac and clear some space. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to go up here to the Apple logo and press about this Mac. And then on this page, this is just gonna tell you everything that your computer has, like your processor memory and things like that. But we want to go to the storage tab right here. This right here is your internal hard drive. This is the hard drive sitting on your laptop or your computer desktop. And it's gonna basically take a second to tell you how much space you've used up and how much space is available. And it's gonna break this down to different categories in a second. Ignore these two, these are the external hard drives that I mentioned. And you can see even one of these is almost filled up here, almost four terabytes of information. But I make videos, so that's a little unusual to fill up this much space. You typically will never fill up four terabytes of hard drive if you don't make videos. But let's focus on this. Now I have a one terabyte flash drive on this computer and let's take a look. It says 281 to documents, apps are taking up a bunch. Parallel, I'm running Windows actually on this Mac, so that's taking up some space. And other, look at that, almost 400 gigabytes. I actually have a whole separate video on how to clear other section, but I will touch up on it in this video as well. So now that we have a good understanding of how much space we have left and what's taking up this space, let's go ahead and manage that. Just click this option, Manage, and we'll get to more advanced option in a second. But right now under Manage, it says store in iCloud. A lot of times your files, photos, messages are taking up a good amount of space. So instead of capturing those on your computer's hard drive, you could store them in the cloud. If I press this here, it's gonna tell me that I could basically put documents, photos, and messages and store them in iCloud. Now, most likely this is gonna ask you to get more space and buy more space in iCloud. But it's relatively cheap. I think for about $3, you could get a couple of hundred gigabytes worth, which is a lot of space. But if you don't wanna do that, you could skip this section. I'll show you some other ways to free up some space. But this is definitely one of the places to look. The next one is optimizing storage. I've already done this, but you're gonna get an option to optimize storage here. And this removes a lot of TV shows, especially if you use Apple TV movies and TV shows through Apple TV, that's gonna take a lot of space. So I definitely recommend you do this next. Then typically you want to empty your trash can and you, you could turn this on on automatic. Now I don't have mine turned on, but you could come down here, press your trash can and then press empty right here. If there's a lot of information here, that typically tends to empty a few gigabytes if you just have things sitting in the trash. You could always turn it on over here as well. Then, this is really easy to use, reduce clutter if you press review files. What it does is, it shows you all your files on your computer and you could go ahead and press the size option and it's gonna show you things by how big they are. It's just sorting them by size. So look at this, Windows is taking up five gigs here, this video file is taking up four gigs here, these drone shots are taking up three gigs a piece, so I could easily see what's taking up space, and if I want to either delete it, I could press delete here, or typically what I do is I go down here, show in Finder, so I'll select this one, four gigs showing Finder, and here's the file, and then I will open up my external hard drive and actually drag this into there, so it's just sitting on my external hard drive now instead of my computer's internal hard drive. So let me go back to recommendations. So those are the four things that Apple is gonna tell you to do here in that order. 
Then you could go on the left side and you could see application is taking up 81 gigabytes. So I could go see, I have two versions of Adobe Premiere Pro. Maybe I could delete this one that will save me four gigs. And I could basically see again by size what's taking up the most amount of space and press delete. I'll show you one other way at the end of this video to help you uninstall apps, which is the way I use it. I typically don't do it here because it leaves a lot of things behind if you just delete the app here and not the supporting documents. And you could keep looking here. If you have music creation here, you could just remove that library. I never use GarageBand, so I could save a couple of gigs here. I could go to music and again, see if I have anything selected and press delete here. Photos, I have synced up already with iCloud, so not much going on here, but there may be a good amount being used up with photos. And again, the other folder, look at that, it's still 200 gigs showing over here on the other folder. So let me show you the last option and my favorite way to clean up space after I go through what Apple's helping me do. And this is a very reputable company. Clean My Mac X is a software that I use on all my Macs. And I have a link in the description for it. You could download it completely for free and do a full system scan completely for free too. There is a paid option after a certain amount, so it's not completely free, but it will do a lot of things for free if you don't wanna pay for the upgrade. I pay for the upgrade because it's just worth my time to run this and not manually remove things every single time I run out of space. So between this and the external hard drive, I really never worry about space. I just do this about once a month and it just takes care of everything for me. So let me show you what this is gonna do here. It's gonna show you things that are unneeded junk. It found six gigs just like that. So I could go ahead and delete those. I could review the details on that and see exactly what's going on. A lot of mail attachments I don't need. Some system junk, which I wouldn't know how to manually find. And there's a little bit in the trash can, which we manually emptied the trash can, so that's not that important. This is also gonna do a whole kind of potential threat protection and a speed optimization for me. You could always do those things on the left side as well. So for example, if I wanted to just take care of system junk, I could come over here, do a scan for that. And I could go ahead and review the details here. And then it's gonna show me everything that it is considered system junk. And I could either select all of them manually or just let it select all of them and then press clean. I just love the graphic representation this gives me too. And it also shows me the download folder, which I could select and remove things from my download folder. That sometimes takes up a bunch of space here of things you've downloaded to your computer. The other thing I like with this is on the left side, there's large and old files. If you go over here, you could do another scan of your entire hard drive and find just basically files that you're not using that are old, that are taking up space. And this is really, really, again, a graphic visualization of what I've showed you already. So look at these, all these different files could be just selected here and deleted by just pressing remove if you wanna remove them. But again, make sure what you're deleting is what you want to delete because you won't get it back. And I also use uninstaller. So this is how I would remove an app that I don't want. So for example, if I wanted to remove something, I could just go ahead and select it over here. So if I wanted to remove this app, for example, I'll select it. This is taking up three gigs. It's very useful to show the size and I could press uninstall here. This is my preferred way of uninstalling because it takes care of everything for you that fast. And as far as that other folder that's taking up a couple hundred gigabytes on my hard drive, if I go to space lens here, it's gonna scan all my hard drive, so 800 gigabytes. And the other folder is just documents that Apple doesn't categorize into documents or movies or photos or applications. So in my case, they are linked inside of my Dropbox. It may be completely different for you, but this gives you a nice representation visually of what's being taken up. So I could actually jump into the Dropbox folder and see what's going on there. And for some reason, I got a couple of gigs sitting on my hard drive on the desktop too, so I could go there and I could see I store a lot of videos in this today folder here, so I could go ahead and remove those and put them into my external hard drive. So that's what the other folder is analyzing. So as soon as I remove some of the storage that I have, if I unlink my Dropbox from this computer and just use Dropbox on dropbox.com, or if I remove these videos from the desktop, it's gonna bring down my other folder significantly. So between everything Apple recommends and everything Clean My Mac X recommends and takes care of for you and external hard drives, you should be able to save a good amount of space. 
I hope you found one of those methods useful and it freed up some space on your Mac. And remember the external hard drives are a great way just to get things off the internal hard drive and free up some space so you never have to worry about it. I have about a dozen of these hard drives for all the videos I've made over the years. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.